Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. This is the YouTube Yacht Project and I am Mike. If you're new to the channel, this is a boat themed, paddle wheeler boat themed rental cabin that my wife and I are building. We got the walls poured a couple weeks ago and we are now ready to move on to the next step, which is gonna be waterproofing and gravel backfill on the backside and gravel backfill on the inside for the floor slab. What that means is we've got to get some rock trucks back here. I've got stone coming later this week, either Tuesday or Thursday. So I need to get quite a bit done. We got to get the road dressed up. I got to get the rest of this mess picked up. There is definitely a snake down there. I saw a little rat snake or king snake back itself under that pile of wood. So we definitely have that to look forward to later. We're gonna try to get some of this debris burnt up. We got a lot of little stuff we got to get knocked out and get ready, get everything ship shape in Bristol fashion for the next step in the process. And I'm pretty excited about it. We do still have the D4 up here from when we worked on the pond a couple days ago, in case you missed that video. There's an info card for you. So we're gonna walk that up through the woods, see if we can't start getting this polished up a little bit and ready for the stone. Probably ought to move things like this out of the way. Had somebody suggest that, diesel fuel in a spray can. Thought I'd try it. And uh, you know, don't try it home. Fuel injected burn barrel. Who would have thought? Let's go get the dozer. Oh. Left that on. I hope she starts. Oh, that's promising. Oh, you gotta kidding me. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know those real clickbaity videos you see sometimes? Every homestead needs this. Those kinds of things. Jump packs. Every homestead needs a jump pack.
a little bit more in there real quick. We're just gonna keep filling that up as we go today and try to get all this stuff burn up, all that scrap wood burn up. While that's burning down, let's go ahead and run this road just a little bit.
dozer is parked at the end of the road ready to go don't get me wrong there's definitely quite a bit of dozer work to do yet but that's not the main goal today i just kind of want to get everything cleaned up and ready for rock that's what we're hoping for we've got a lot of these trees cut up everything's burning up real nice we'll just keep feeding that up next thing i want to do got a lot of these plywood scraps that we used for strapping on the bow of this i'm gonna get all that up and out of the hole and we'll go ahead and burn that because it's all old small plywood pieces but that's where i saw that little king snake or rat snake earlier so let's hope this goes uneventful and at the end of the video obviously we'll take the drone we'll fly down the road we'll fly over everything we've been working on today so we can get a good big picture look at it a bunch of just random stuff around this bottom edge We'll save those. But all these smaller pieces, that's what we're gonna burn. We'll just toss them up there. See, we had to put a curve cut to make the bend. Most of these little smaller pieces are broken like that. Oh. There you go, good toss there, bud. A quarter nut driver. What a find.
it's actually the following day. I went over yesterday and when I got there, the girls were outside enjoying one of these. You guys remember these things? They had one of these and I thought that looks mighty fine. So I sat down and had one with them and uh, you may find it's hard to believe I never made it back over here, but that's okay. We're back over here today. That all cleaned up great. Looks really good for rock down there. There is one last thing I would like to do or need to do. Obviously we're gonna need some stone on this side as well, which means we'll bring the tractor around the bottom side. That's the same way we got this stone in here. But I need to get this persimmon tree out of the way. We dropped it because it wasn't looking too hot and we felt it was too close to the YouTube yacht. So we went ahead and cut it down and it's laid here ever since. But we're gonna go grab our homemade log winch that we made out of a 1977 CJ7 Jeep frame. And we're gonna see if we can get this thing pulled up out of here, out of the way. I got a call right when I got home that the Husqvarna is fixed at the saw, at the saw shop and I can go pick it up today. So as soon as we get this done, I'm going to get the gas saw. This thing is great for what we did in the beginning of the video, cutting limbs, smaller stuff like that that you want to put in a burn pile. It's not made to cut this, but you know, they got the job done. Almost. Battery's dead. There's a little bit left in there. We'll just see if we can break it, but I'm ready. To get that gas saw back.
love this thing. I love this thing so much. There's a couple odds and ends I want to do. I need to wrap this. I need to get like a, a bungee cord system that holds my cables up out of the way. We need to paint it. We just need to do a few odds and ends to tweak it. But I, it's awesome. It works so daggone good. In fact, that's what I plan on using to try to get the logs across the little ravine there for that timber bridge. Keep the tractor on the happy side, obviously. Run the cable across, hook a little snatch block up, come back, see if we can't get the logs pulled across. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I do know I'm getting ready to leave, go get the gas saw, and then I'm going to work on that. That's what I'm doing. So hopefully it'll be Sunday's video and you guys can find out real soon. But now we've got a good clear path to get down and around here with the tractor. Get our stone along this side. So that'll work perfect. Awesome. Actually picked up all the waterproofing this morning, so we've got the waterproofing for the back side to get on as well. Not today, but that'll be in an upcoming video. And then we've got stone. I was hoping it was gonna be here today. We've got two loads, 40 tons coming of what we call number sevens, which is, well, it's this, I'll just show you. These are sevens for us. Actually, those might be fives. These are fives, but sevens are just a touch smaller. And that's what we'll do for the backfill. Like I said, I was hoping it'd be here today, but they called and said they're gonna have to push it back later in the week. My glasses, thank you. They said they'd uh, push it back later in the week, and that's fine, because we've got plenty of other stuff to do. This bench right here I pushed in is so I can bring the tractor down. The stone will dump up there. We'll bring the tractor down and around. And we're just gonna start backfilling and working our way around with the tractor. Yes, it would be a lot easier to rent some of Mike's equipment to do the backfill with, but as you can imagine, on that pond repair, we're gonna be racking up quite the rental bill for his equipment. So we're going to the old run what you brung when it comes to backfill on this. Parking area looks a lot better. We'll have him dump the stone here, and then whatever we don't use for backfill, we can smear around the parking area. The permanent parking area, about where that brace rack is, imagine a line from there over, and then back here, and this that'll be the parking everything on that side of the imaginary line that all gets pulled back and we'll have to do something with it but that's only left out there right now it's built out so we can get the concrete trucks in to pour the floor down below but once all the concrete's poured that'll come out that's plenty of room though you could get three cars in there real comfortable four cars if you're a good driver you could probably get two in right there and three if you're a good driver and there's definitely plenty of room to you know do the old three point on out of here or in here. I think it's gonna work great. I'm pretty excited about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're enjoying the channel overall. We definitely have a lot going on and a busy summer and fall for that matter ahead of us with lots of cool projects. So I hope you guys are liking it. We're definitely having a blast and we definitely appreciate all your support. We are gonna finish this video off with a quick drone flight of everything so you can kind of tie it all together as always. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.